Hey guys, Nikki here, right here in the North York, you know, the center of North York, the hub, you know, the main North York area, Young and Shepherd, where Shepherd Young subway station is, and I just ate at Taco Bell over there. Um, I find that's the only Taco Bell in the city that's not attached to KFC, because I remember I talked about in one of my other videos that uh, KFC and Taco Bell are usually attached together, but the one that I just ate at, Young and Shepherd, it isn't. Oh, yes, sure, thanks. That, that was, that was uh, a chef plate's, chef's plate, um, the guy who, who, uh, you know, who just gave me that. Looks, looks pretty good. I better hold on to it. I mean, that was really nice of him. Normally, I don't like it when people, you know, interrupt me while I'm filming, but he didn't say anything about me filming. Instead, he got a free, free card. That was very nice of him. So, I, you know, because of that, I don't, I don't even mind at all. So, it's a very nice Tuesday afternoon the 4th of October and I'm walking over this subway ventilation right now. There's Shepherd Young subway station over there. <clears throat> yeah, I think October is one of my favorite months of the year. You know, I always get scared every time I walk on top of the ventilation because I'm always worried that I'm going to fall right through the grate. It's like when I'm at the CN Tower and I stand on the glass floor, I'm always worried that, that the glass is going to break and I'm going to fall right through it. I mean, I know it's not going to happen, but anyways. So I thought I'd do a walking video along here. Shepherd, this is Shepherd Avenue East. So I was, uh, my, my goal is to do a walking video along around the Bayview Village area. Now, Bayview Village that used to be a modest farming community and it just turned into a residential neighborhood. It's uh, not far from the Don Valley Parkway. But yeah, I, I think what I'm gonna do is what I'm going to try to do is walk a couple of subway stops along Line 4. So basically the Line 4 subway runs directly underneath here. And it runs directly underneath the streets until you get to Bazarian. So my, I'm not going to walk too slow. I'm hoping to get to Bazarian before the 20 minute mark. Of course that's un... This may sound unrealistic, but uh, I'll try my best. You know, I heard a lot about Chef's Plate before. $18 free meals. Yep. I could definitely use it. And it says here, choose recipes, we deliver. Yeah, you just have to use that code. And you're in. I, I'll definitely keep this. And it looks like they have... They might have tacos here, I don't know. I don't really know. I just, uh, I just love Mexican food a lot. So, I, I was actually, so anyways, before I start off with my story, just want to acknowledge temperature right now is 18 degrees centigrade. It actually feels quite nice out because because of the sun when the sun is out it feels warmer and I don't even need to wear a hoodie I'm just out in my t-shirt it's a temperature supposed to go to like the low 20s tomorrow so I'm really looking forward to that I'll, I'll have to go somewhere tomorrow got to spend some time outside and in fact uh, I I recommend all of y'all to you know, to get outside tomorrow because this nice weather's not gonna be, not gonna last. 
and potentially this could be the last 20 degree day of the year. Well, it's supposed to hit 22 on Thursday as well, but uh, you see Thursday's not going to be as nice because overnight the temperature is going to come down from like 22 all the way down to 5 and usually when that happens we get a windstorm like i could tell we're going to get a windstorm on thursday because of the significant dropping temperature it looks like they're building something over there i really like this building though it looks very I, lo I like how it's made of glass it looks really space aged So, I should have said this, anyways, as I was going to say, I should have, I should have said this in my, in my uh, other video, but uh, when I was at Best Buy, I saw several sparrow birds in there. Like, there were actually birds inside of the store. Like, but they were sparrows only. You know, basically what sparrows are, it's those little tiny birds. You you see them more often in this city. But they're they're very cute. I find all a lot of small things are cute. But it does sound kind of a little bit it does sound kind of shocking to see a bird in an indoor setting. Like, I even said out loud, OMG, there's a bird in there. We have a bird there. And then I was, like, telling one of the, the workers about it. Why is this car making this really long honking sound? Like, it's not, it's not just beeping. It's going beep. <clears throat> it's so annoying when it does that. It looks like they're it looks like they're moving some cement or not cement but gravel inside the truck. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing some sort of road paving and there are construction there are construction workers out on the streets. Wow, look at that. There's there's dust coming. I better keep on the lookout because it looks like the dust is going to come towards me. I feel like this is the perfect time of the day to do a walking video. I don't... I don't normally come to this part of the city that often. Of course, because I don't live here, and I mean, I don't, I live in Toronto, but I live in Etobicoke. I don't live in North York, and I don't uh, have it, normally have anywhere to be in the city. I mean, in this part of the town. So that's why I decided to do a walking video. Wow. hard to believe that there's so much construction happening around here. There's like construction everywhere in this city. No matter where you go, there's you're always going to see construction. I mean, something tells me that they're trying to modernize the city or, or something. I don't know. But uh, I, th I think this part uh, of North York, like the east end of North York seems to have a lot of downhills. That's just the way I can picture it. So anyways, getting back to my bird conversation. Um, yeah, when I saw the bird at Best Buy, it reminded me of how, how I sometimes see a pigeon on the subway. I don't know why, but pigeons tend to like the subway system a lot. Who knows, maybe they're transit fans. Maybe that's why they like the subways all the time. But uh, a couple of times I was taking the subway to school. 
it happened like uh two or three years ago i don't remember but yeah it sounds about right but uh i saw a pigeon on the subway and that happens sometimes because you see pigeons playing around everywhere when you're on the subway like you're you're gonna see pigeons everywhere and you know pigeons like to go wherever they want and that includes the subway train but in a pigeon's perspective yeah the, the pigeon likes to take a ride on the subway or maybe he just thinks it's just a run around space and and uh but the thing is, when, when the pigeon gets off the subway, I can imagine how lost it's gonna feel. Like, how lost the pigeon is gonna feel. Like, one time I went to, uh, I went to Kennedy Station on July 23rd to ride the Scarborough RT. And I, and while I was standing on the Line 3 platform, there was a pigeon, like, banging his head on the window. Because mine, at Kennedy Station, Line 3 has this, uh, window at has those windows on the platform in fact all line three stations have but anyways in between the railing and the window the pigeon repeatedly keep kept on hitting hitting his head on the window and i had a friend with me at the time who said that it's because they think that uh they think that the window is is um is basically just uh, an escape area. Like they don't know about windows, okay? They have really tiny brains, so they think that uh, when they're surrounded by windows, they think they can just easily fly away. No, it keeps on hitting his head. You see, it's like you. You keep hitting your head and you're like, oh, but I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. Like, like, let me, let me show you for example. You see this wall? Let's, let's say I'm trying to penetrate the wall. You see, I can't do that. I can't penetrate the wall. But if, but it would be very stupid of me to keep on doing it because I know I can't do it. And you say, well, how come I cannot penetrate the wall? I don't understand. That's exactly how pigeons think when they keep on banging their heads on the window. But when, when you see, when pigeons ride the subway, when, by the time they get off the train, they leave the station, they, they, have, they leave the station, they have absolutely no idea where to go. And then when they get outside, they think to themselves, what is a second, what is this? Where, where did I end up? How did I get here? Like, uh, this looks unfamiliar to me. I, I have no idea where I am, what happened here? Then it all, you know, and then what it all boils down to is that the pigeons, they feel lost. Now, here's a, here's another thing. Of course, this is an, this is a different topic, but anyways, moving on. A lot of times when I'm making videos, like whether I'm making walking videos or hiking videos, I always need something to talk about because nobody's going to watch my video with with free narration. They always, my viewers always want to hear something. And the problem is, I know I probably have said this before, but I can't say it enough. Before I start the video, I always, I always think like, oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I'm gonna tell my viewers about. I know exactly what I'm gonna say. And then as soon as I start filming, I think, holy shit, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Damn. Like, what I was going to say or my memory just poof, disappears as soon as I start the video. It actually, it's, it, it's the same thing happens when I'm hanging out with one of my friends with with a friend who I see every Sunday oh shit I even gave out the 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 day of the week crap every week I don't like to give out too much information but anyways 
we actually both feel the same way. Like, I always have something to say. I, like, before, before the day comes or before, you know, I think, I think I'm going to cross right here and walk along the other side of the road. Before I'm about to see that friend of mine, I always think to myself, oh yeah, yeah, I know what I'm going to say. I know exactly what I'm going to say. And then as, a, as soon as I see my friend, I think to myself, oh my gosh, damn, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Like, like my memory just vanishes as soon as, as soon as I see my friend, it just vanishes. It's, it's kind of like when you're, when you're dreaming versus real life. So what I mean by that is, um, I think you, uh, you see, I'm, you see, you can feel more awkward doing something in real life or than you would creating a scenario out of it. Like when you dream about stuff or what, what not, you always know what you're going to, uh, you always feel like, oh, yeah, OMG, wouldn't it be so good if I could do this? Or if you plan out a scenario, it's you're like, oh, yeah, I know I could do it. Well, for sure, no doubt about it. But when it comes to actually doing it, it's not the same. It's really just not the same. You, you kind of lose a little bit of hope, you know, because you feel more awkward doing stuff in real life than you do in dreams. And so, my friend actually feels the same way whenever, like I, like I, I keep on getting told, well, I know I'm gonna see my friend Nikki, but I know what I'm gonna say that as soon as I see him, boot disappears. Like uh, we're both in this together. I, I really hate it when that happens. So yeah, same thing happens when I'm, talking during my videos on YouTube. I think the same thing and but this is also why I list why I listed in the description. Like whenever I forget to say something, I normally just uh list it in the description. Well mind you it depends on how much I'm itching to say it. Okay, I'm at, I'm almost at 18 minutes and I don't even think I've reached Bayview yet. And I did say I want to get to Bazarian by 20 minutes, but it looks like it's not happening. Or who knows, maybe I did get to Bayview, maybe I just didn't see it, but somehow I don't think I did. I'm going to ride line four today. You know, this will be the second time of me riding line four on the TTC subway line. The last time I, the first and last time I rode line four was September 30th, 2018. So I'm gonna ride it again. And uh, whenever I do ride line four, I'm always, it's, uh, it's a great distance. And it takes a long time to commute because when you're riding the line four, you, I have to, I basically have to take three trains. Like, I, I, I live on line, on the line one, okay? I mean line two, I live on line two. So to get to where I live, I have to like take the subway over to Shepherd Young, then take line one and then take the line two. So I basically have to take three trains. But just imagine if I were to, if I were to go to line three, like let's, let's pretend I'm going to Lawrence East Station. I would end up taking, I would end up taking four trains, line four, line one, line two, and line three. Although if I were gonna go to, if I were gonna go somewhere on line three, I wouldn't do that because they have buses around here. And taking the bus to a place on line three from here is actually quicker. So instead of taking four trains, I would take a bus, but I think I'm just gonna go straight home after this. Oh, there's Bayview Avenue, and I'm almost at 20 minutes. It'll probably be 30 minutes by the time I get to Bazarian. It, 
it looks like I don't get to go out and do as much transit fanning slash walking videos as much as I want to or wanted to since last year all because I'm busy studying see you see those tiny birds can you see them yeah they're kind of small they're hard to see but anyways these are the type of birds I saw at Best Buy today and the worker even told me that uh, they could be considered a guest at Best Buy because of course there's nothing really they could do to build to uh, keep pi uh, pigeons or birds away and th I think they even told me that they they even built like those birds even built a nest like on the ceiling on the ceiling railing and there's my favorite type of bus just over there one two nine six on what route 85 yep orion 7 ng hybrid classic livery so yeah they were actually building nest and it's so kind of hard to believe that a bird can actually build a nest inside an indoor public setting it sounds kind of crazy i mean if i were a bird i wouldn't like it in there i would like outside better okay now we have to wait for the slight to change Stupid light. 30 seconds. Wow. I have to wait 30 seconds for me across the street. Anyways, I kind of like the architecture of Bayview Subway Station. Uh, line 4 opened in 2002. So I wasn't even around at the time. But uh, that's that explains why all Line 4 stations have elevators. I may not get, get go straight home as soon as I get to Bazarian, but I think what I like I think what I'm gonna do is because Bazarian is such a is such you know a lost and forgotten kind of street or maybe lost and forgotten is not the right word but it's not a major street it's certainly not a major street not only that that street is only like a kilometer or so long with a dead end I find it so weird that. You can have a subway station for a street that has no significance. It's just a, it's just a s small street, a very short street with a dead end. A kilometer long, if not less. It's, I just find it kind of bizarre to, you know, put a subway station just where just for a small, tiny street. I mean, it, I suppose it could be useful in some ways, but uh, I have no doubt that that station doesn't get used very often. And here I am again, walking on top of the subway vent. I think I can hear my echo from down there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so there's Bayview Village just over there. And that uh, mall opened in 1963. So I think there's like two entrances to Baby Subway Station from here. Like there's an entrance on Shepherd, right on the intersection of Shepherd and Baby, and there's another intersection here. The way it's architecturally designed looks kind of like the Line 1 extension. 
and it looks like that that must be the elevator shaft yeah that's the elevator shaft that you could see from there okay one more subway stop to go I kind of doubt that the next one the next one will be less great of a distance but uh, you never know. Well, look at that. Trees are like almost all yellow by now. I can hear the sound of construction. That's the sound of a jackhammer I just heard. Yeah, that. That's a jackhammer. Uh, I want to cross the street before the time's up. I gotta run. Only five seconds left. See you. We made it. So now we're officially in the Bayview Village neighborhood. This neighborhood runs between Bayview and Leslie. Now I do know that Bazarian, Bazarian Road has uh, is just uh, just beside the the Highway 401. Like by the time you get to the end of the street, you're right next to the 401. So I'm sure I can I could just go for a quick walk down there, and then hop on the subway and come home. Maybe I'll film an elevator ride by the time I get to uh, Leslie, I mean, Bazarian Station. I've never been on the elevator on Line 4. Actually, I rode the elevator on at Shepherd Young Station today. But, uh, yeah. So I did get to ride the subway station on Line 4, but I never rode on an elevator where at a subway station that's strictly on Line 4. I think this neighborhood is becoming a little bit more residential now. You know, I actually consider line one an office line and line two a residential line. But line four, I kind of consider it a hybrid. Because Shepherd is a major street. But I know Young and Shepherd there are office buildings. I mean, I don't really know. I don't really know what to consider line four. This apartment building looks quite modern. You could tell because of the because the fact that it's gray. I like the floor tiles. They, now those floor tiles, they, they always look modern. But, uh, yeah, also the glass balconies. Oh, I can smell the smell that you smell at an apartment building. I have no idea how to describe it. But, uh, if you live in an apartment building or you visit apartment buildings, it kind of smells the same. And I'm here walking under the scaffolding. They put some brand new pavement here. Holy shit, my nose is running. I don't have a Kleenex or a handkerchief on me. Yikes. That's what I don't like when my nose runs and I have nothing to wipe my nose with. We've got some nice dogs here. I'm not gonna zoom in. <coughs> it's 
excuse me. It says here the Spirit of Truth Church. Oh, that, that doesn't even look like a church to me. This, this looks kind of like a Catholic school or whatnot. That, that looks nothing like a church. Wow, I'm almost at 31 minutes. Okay, I better keep my eyes peeled for the next subway station that's gonna come up. And I can see a downhill from here. Yeah, I don't really understand why there has to be so much construction here in this city. There's always something going on. No peace in Toronto. Always have to listen to God knows what. That looks like a mini bouncy castle over there. Wow, looks pretty cool. It looks like it's an inflatable. So there's a uh, condo coming this spring, spring 2022. Uh, I'm not too crazy about um, the way it's made of bricks because it's a little bit old school. They, you'd think that all buildings that are built in, wait a second, did it say spring 2022? Let me go back. Well, spring 2022 is just passed, but where is it? Where is that building? Oh, it's probably supposed to be here. Yeah. Well, I mean, you cannot predict the future, right? It's, I can't see it being done anytime soon. They haven't even started. I mean, they kind of started, but they haven't really got it working. Uh, or as soon as possible thereafter. Yeah. Oh, that's a public meeting. That's... Yeah, it's... Uh... I know. Since you can't predict the future, whenever they say it's going to be done by a certain time, it isn't. Like when they say the... When they were saying that the Line 5 LRT would open... <coughs> By 2021 well it's 2022 and it's it still hasn't officially opened yet so that's uh all you could do is estimate that's all i could say <coughs> oh my gosh i i think i felt something in my nasal line sinus pain or whatever that was bazarian parkette i like those condo buildings over there by the way yeah, I, I would I would want to live in one of them. A couple are still under construction, but it looks like a few of them are have already opened. There's Bazarian Road. I'm here now, yes. Finally I made it. Well you know what? Shit. I was gonna say because I'm crossing into a quiet street. Maybe this light has no meaning, but I guess it does have a meaning after all. Okay, looks like this car is gonna park here. I better, I better run. I don't wanna get confronted by 
by whoever's driving that car about just because I'm recording here. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll... Uh, I was gonna say I'll... I'll make this all one video where I walk back into the subway station and take the elevator all the way down to the subway, but... I don't want to be filming for too long. I'm just gonna walk to the end here. It's not a long street. It has a dead end. I actually wanted to do this in May 2023 where I'm walking all the way here from Young Street, but it looks like I got to do it earlier than planned, which is good. Uh, uh. Yeah, so whatever happens, I'll make sure that I'll be able to, that I'll make some videos while I'm dog sitting. I think I can hear the sound of the 401 from here. Or maybe that's the sound of the construction or the ventilation. Nah, what am I what am I saying? Of course it's the highway. Gee, it's not as loud as I thought. Like Yeah, I'm near a highway all right, but the sound of the highway is not not so loud and Look at that, there's a lot of pigeons here. Hey, guess what, pigeons? I was just talking about you guys. Like, uh, 15 or 20 minutes ago. Well, pigeons tend to like this street, too. Whoa, you gotta be careful, look. I don't like how this power line is dangling there. You know, it's not very safe. You can get electrocuted by touching it. I just don't find it safe to have an electrical wiring hanging really low like that. So yeah, the highway is just behind, just behind this green wall. It looks like there's a trail here too. Eh, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna keep filming. But I'm not gonna f film all the way to Bazarian Station. Oh, it takes you to a playground, I see. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.